Welcome to this week's edition of NCDOT Now. I'm Carly Oleksik. The North Carolina Turnpike Authority has opened the All Electronic Monroe Expressway, the second in a network of projects being introduced around the state. Local leaders, stakeholders, and members of the community gathered this week to cut the ribbon on the highly anticipated roadway project. It's an exciting day for transportation as we open the long awaited Monroe Expressway. We were so excited to have so many members of the community hundreds of people here today to open it with us. The Monroe Expressway is an 18-mile bypass that stretches between east of I-485 and the U.S. 74 interchange in Matthews and just west of Marshville. It's estimated that drivers will be able to save around 20 minutes by using the expressway. All electronic tolling provides seamless travel without having to slow down or stop to pay tolls. Customers can drive through the all electronic toll system and receive a bill in the mail after cameras attached to the tolling gantries capture a photo of the vehicle's license plate. Drivers can also sign up for a free NC Quick Pass transponder and save up to 35% off the bill by mail rate. For drivers with an NC Quick Pass transponder, it will cost about two and a half dollars to travel the full length of the expressway. Tolls collected will go to operating, maintaining, and paying off the project. In other news, NCDOT's top priority is always safety. So to promote more bicycle helmet usage, the department's Bicycle Helmet Initiative is providing helmets to children from underprivileged families. Less than half of all children wear helmets when bicycling. Yet studies show that if they did wear them, severe brain injuries could be reduced by nearly 90%. The department is currently accepting applications for the Bicycle Helmet Initiative from government and non-government agencies. Those interested must apply by December 21st. The program is funded through sales of the Share the Road Specialty License Plate and has provided thousands of helmets to children since 2007. To access the application, visit ncdot.gov and search for Helmet Initiative. It's that time again. Students can submit their entries for the 2019 Aviation Art Contest. This year's theme is My Dream to Fly. Awards will be given in junior, intermediate, and senior divisions, and those winners will advance to the national competition. Get more information by visiting ncdot.gov and search for Aviation Art Contest. And that's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. As always, you can stay connected with us on Facebook and Twitter. That's at NCDOT. You can also follow us on Snapchat and Instagram at ncdot.com. And from all of us at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.